What's up, Michael here from Fitter Media, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to dynamically change the colors of SVG icons by using Webflow variables. It's super simple, so without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so I have a few SVG icons in the project currently. If you're not sure what an SVG icon is, all it is is some SVG code that you paste into an embed block, and then that creates the icon. From this code, you can change the colors manually, or you can change the colors dynamically using Webflow variables, which is what I'm about to show you. Uh, if you want a free place to get SVG icons, a uh, place we use a lot is Bootstrap icons. They are free, high quality, and open source, so we use these people quite a bit. Um, and also another reason why we use them quite a bit is if I click on one of these icons, you can easily copy the SVG code right here and just paste it directly into your project. So now that we have some icons, what we need to do is we need to go to Webflow variables and then we need to create some color variables. Now, as you can see, I already have a few. We're gonna be using these, but I'm just gonna quickly show you how to create some from scratch. So up in the right-hand corner, you'll see this button called new variable. We're gonna click on that and we get, a, uh, we get a decide from three different variable types. We're obviously, for this video, gonna choose color and as you can see, it automatically added a variable to the bottom. Uh, from here, what we can do is we can give it a name, whatever we want. So we'll just do example color. And then for the color, we'll just do a random color. Now from there, we created a color variable. It's literally that simple. We can then use these variables to dynamically change the colors of our icons. So for example, if I click on the settings icon for this dark color, it gives us the CSS variable. So all you have to do is click on that. It will copy the variable. And then we want to click out of here and we want to go to our icons. And then you want to find the piece of code that says fill equals current color depending on what SVG icon you have, it may not say current color. Yours may include an actual hex code. Either way, it doesn't matter. We are going to be replacing those. So where it says fill, we just want to copy current color and we want to, looks like it didn't uh, copy uh, the CSS variables. Sometimes it doesn't copy it. Webflow is a little bit glitched out because this is a pretty new feature, but we will just paste this in now. There we have our variable right there. And if we hit save and close, you can see the color changed slightly. So I'm gonna go and quickly do it for the rest of these, and then I will come back. Okay, so I just got done adding the variables to these icons as well using the same method you saw me use for the Apple logo. Now what you'll see is if we go back to our Webflow variables and let's change this color, we will change it to just uh, like a dark purplish color. And then if I click out of here, you can see these icons changed perfectly to the brand new color. Now, if you are somewhat familiar with using SVG icons already, you may have wondered, well, using Webflow variables is kind of just the exact same as using the current color variable that the SVG code already comes with. There's like pros and cons to either way, whichever way you choose. The pros to using the current color is you can change the color straight on the element itself, but then the, the cons is you have to give it a class and things like that. So if you just need to quickly paste in an uh, SVG icon, you can quickly just paste in the Webflow variable. Now from here, we have this Christmas tree down at the bottom. This uses two different types of colors, but we can actually change this color, uh, both of these colors as well using Webflow variables. So I'm just gonna undo that, have our dark color. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now use these this dark and this green color to fill in the colors for the Christmas tree. So we are going to copy the CSS variable for the dark color going to click into our SVG code. Now this is quite a bit of code because there's two different uh, colors being used. But for this color right here, we want to delete that hex code. And if you have a hex code, you also want to delete the pound symbol uh, or else that will result in an error and your variable won't work. So we're going to save and close that. 
Uh, looks like that was the background. Doesn't matter. We'll copy this one. Then we're going to go back to our tree. We're actually going to replace this one because this is supposed to be the green background. And then down here for the actual tree, we're going to paste in this. And we're just going to swap out this text for dark. That was the variable for the dark color. Save and close. And it worked perfectly. Now, the colors were the exact same, which is why I didn't see any changes. But let's go and change these colors a bit through the Webflow variables. So for the green, we are going to change this to like a dark green and then for the dark color we're going to change this to a true black and let's go back and you can see we changed both of the colors for these SVG icons perfectly. So you can use this technique when you are building out a style guide you can just you can control all of your SVG icons straight from your style guide and from Webflow variables. I hope that was helpful if you have any questions leave your comments below and we'll try our best to get back with you. Also, we do offer unlimited Webflow development for B2B SaaS companies. So if that is something you're interested in, there'll be a link in the description for a special offer just for you.